HTML Video Tutorials Lesson 2, the P tag. Let's start with the basic HTML template from Lesson 1 called index.html. You can download the file from our HTML Video Tutorials Lesson 1 page. Locate the folder that the file is in. Right click the file and choose Edit. It should open in your default text editor like Notepad. Once your file has opened in your text editor, let's change a couple things in the head section of the page before we get to making our p-tags. Because whenever you make a new web page, it's a good idea to change the title, meta keywords, and meta description of that page. Change the text inside the title tag to say, the p-tag lesson. For keywords, you should choose different keywords than in the first lesson, so as to clearly define what this page is about. For this page, let's choose HTML tags, paragraph, HTML, and body text. For the meta description, we can write, our lesson looks at the P tag, which allows you to print paragraphs on your web page. Now let's also change our H1 or header tag in the body area of the page to say, making paragraphs on a web page. Now let's save the file with a different name. Let's call this file paragraph.html. Then if you go to the folder that the file's in and double click the file, it should open in your default web browser. You can see that the new title you typed in appears in the tab of the browser page as well as at the top of the browser window. And now we'll look at the P tag which defines a paragraph of text. It is one of the most basic tags in HTML. To make a basic paragraph like this, you'll need to begin with a start P tag. In its simplest form, every element in HTML starts with a less than sign, the name of the element, and then a greater than sign. By contrast, an end tag starts with a less than sign, and then a forward slash, the name of the element, and then a greater than sign. Now that you have your start and end p tags, you can put as much text as you want in between. Then I'll just add another paragraph of text here. Then let's save the file. Now we'll go to the web browser and refresh the page by clicking the refresh button or hitting F5. Now you see the two paragraphs and the space in between them. Another thing to note, the width of p-tags in almost all HTML tags by default is determined by the width of the browser window. If you make the browser window smaller, you can see that the width of the p-tags changes to match. Let's return the browser to its normal size, and now I'll show you another interesting thing about p-tags. Let's edit the HTML code by adding a lot of extra white space and carriage returns between two words inside the first p-tag. Save the file, and then go back to the browser window and refresh the page. You'll see that the browser ignores all extra white space and only renders the standard one space between words. And that's the basic elements of the p or paragraph tag. More HTML tutorials coming soon at zoax.net.